Good morning, my friend, and welcome to another day's devotion. This morning, the word is start over again with Jesus. You cannot continue the way you started. You started by coming into this world. The Bible said we were formed in sin and shaped in iniquity. But in order for us to have a relationship with God, in order for us to inherit the kingdom of God, we have to start over again. Praise God. We have to start over again with Jesus. Jesus. Let's hear what the Bible is saying. St. John chapter 3 verses 1 to 7. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, Verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which which is born of the Spirit is a Spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. We must be born again. We have to start over. To be born again, my friend, means to start over fresh. It means to start over with Jesus. Praise God, because the way how we started is that we were born in sin and we were shaped in iniquity. But in order for that to change, Praise God. Christ came and died on the cross for our sins. Praise God. And now we have to take up our cross. We have to repent of our sins. We have to start over with Christ. We cannot continue the same way in the sin that we were born and shaped in. We have to start over by being born again. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. Note, my friend, he came by night because he was a ruler of the Pharisee and he did not want any anyone to see him coming to Jesus because remember the Pharisees were not with Christ they were against Christ they were men of the law you know carrying out the tradition of, of that time praise God but uh, Nicodemus uh, this 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 rich ruler came to Jesus uh, by night disguised himself and came because he too believed in Christ praise God because he saw some things in Christ uh, that made him believe that made him want to inquire about the matter. He became curious and he wanted to know. Oh, glory to God. But when God talked to him, when Jesus spoke to with him, praise God, Jesus told him that man, the thing that you need to do is you must start over with me. You cannot continue in that doctrine, in that uh, old belief, in that old mindset that you used to be in. You have to put all of that aside and start over with Christ. When Nicodemus heard that, he was saying, man, I am old. Can a man enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born again. How am I going to start over? I cannot start over. I am a big grown man. My God, I cannot start over. But Christ is saying, my friend, that we have to start over with him. We have to start over with Jesus. We started in sin and in depravity and in our own corruption and our own um, imagination, evil thought and all these sinful ways. But we have to push all of that aside and surrender the foot of the cross and start over with Christ. Praise God. Nicodemus, you must be born again. You must be born of the water and born of the spirit. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus and you must be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. You must start over with Christ. You cannot start over with anybody else. You have to start over with the Lord Jesus Christ. God sent his only begotten son that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish my friend but have everlasting life praise God he came into this world for a specific reason and that reason is for our salvation he came to save you and he came to save me praise God and so let us not ignore the work that Christ came and did at Calvary's cross for our sin he came and did that great work so that we can start over with Jesus we can 
and push away, put away the sinful state, the sinful mindset, the sinful actions, the sinful attitude, the sinful disposition and, and start thinking in a way that brings God glory. Starting over with Christ means that we are going to repent of our sin. We are going to surrender our sins at the foot of the cross. We are going to be sorry for the sins that we used to do and we are not going to do them anymore and we are going to put on the name of Jesus so that he can get the glory from out of our lives. It is not easy my friend but if we are going to get saved, if oh God Almighty we are going to inherit the kingdom of God then we must start over with Christ presently or, or in the past we were going and running uh, you know with the devil doing the devil's work God Almighty and fulfilling the devil's uh, uh, desires you know when he tempts us when he he speak to us and when he uh, inflict things and put things in our pathway then we would we would yield to his temptation but no it is no longer that we are starting over with Christ we are starting over with Jesus because we want our lives to be in line with God we want to be righteous we want to be holy praise God God said to be holy for I am holy praise God so we want to start over oh glory to God with Jesus so that God can get glory out of our lives praise God so my friend consider even these words and share this with some unbelievers who need to hear this some people who need to start over with Christ maybe you watching have already started over with Jesus but you know somebody who need to hear these words who need to repent just like how Nicodemus needed to repent and start over be born again praise God that is what we are talking about be born again born of the water the spirit and the blood and start over with Jesus praise God share this word with somebody today somebody this will bless them in a significant way let us pray my friend most righteous and holy father God I lift up this person on the other side of this screen God Almighty to you today I pray that as this person seek to start over with your Jesus I pray oh God that you will help them God help them Jesus just to let go God and let you take control of their lives help them to humble themselves under the mighty hand of God. Some of these people have troubles in their lives oh God Almighty that is beyond their control, beyond their understanding but Christ oh God you are in control and you oh God are, is all powerful and there is nothing too hard for you to do. You can fix it for them God but help them first God to understand that they have to surrender to you Lord God. They have to repent of their sins. They have to humble themselves under the mighty hand of God so you can exalt them in due time. Praise God. You you are the problem solver. You are our provider and there is no great need in our lives that you cannot fix. You cannot solve. You can do anything God Almighty if we only trust you and have faith in your God. So help somebody today God to start over with you God Almighty. Perhaps they have started out with you oh God and gone back into sin because of unbelief God, God Almighty but Jesus Christ of Nazareth I pray for this person today. Oh glory to God that you will help this person somebody God hearing right now who need to come back to you Jesus who need to repent of them sin and need to surrender at the foot of the cross and cry out God Almighty that they will serve you for the rest of their lives I pray for this person oh glory to God today who this word is for oh glory to God even this person who Lord Jesus this word have been shared with I pray that they will start over with you Jesus and they will trust you and learn God Almighty to really depend on your God and allow you to have their, your way in their lives have your way right now as we say thanks for these and other mercies God Almighty in Jesus name we pray amen start over with Jesus my friend because your relationship with God is the most important relationship you would ever have or you will ever have in this lifetime so my friend start over with Jesus praise God and your life will be different it will never be the same it will be blessed beyond measure because Christ is not slack concerning his promises as most men count slackness. Praise God. Remember to like, share this video to bless others in the Lord. Praise God. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for these videos on a daily basis. Praise God. Be blessed my friends. These are the two videos YouTube think you should watch next. So go and watch those videos my friend and they will bless and encourage you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a blessed day right now in Jesus name.